Pop Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry from Bell of Souls with... Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. And we're back with another Tabletop Spotlight, and you brought another ship. Yes, it's the, the U-Wing. The U-Wing. I'm going to name mine Patrick. So this one is for X-Wing. This is the new Rebel ship. Yes. From the new uh, movie, Rogue One. Yeah. The, the wings move, right? Yeah, yeah. it's really cool because it's actually like, because if you see it right here, it's the U-Wing, yeah. right? But if you see that picture, the it's all separated. Wings. So yeah, like this. we'll show that off. Yeah. It's very cool. I, I'm pretty cool. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this one. Like, mm -hmm. the, the, the Millennium Falcon had that little uh, radar dish that moved. Yeah. It exactly. wasn't really articulated, but this no, one is a full this on. This is a really cool one, yeah. Yeah, the, I think the... The shuttle kind of moves sometimes. I Maybe remember. I broke it. I don't know. You probably just broke it. <laughs> I don't play Imperial, so I don't care about <laughs> it. Anyway. But yeah, this is a really cool ship, especially in the movie. It's really cool, so I'm really excited yeah. to take it. It does some different stuff uh, in terms of game mechanics, too. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. Let's, Let's do take it. the cards. Let's do it. Here we go. Yes. On our Rogue One adventure. Here we have the U-Wing. The U-Wing. U-Wing. It actually cool. looks really cool. I like with, with the paint job. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, we got a little preview of it at okay. Gen Con uh, with just the, the ship. Mm -hmm. I don't remember if it was fully painted or not, but it definitely, uh, I don't think it was finalized. Okay, interesting. So like this a... is the first time we're getting to see it like... All together with the yeah, cards yeah. and the cards in it. Okay, cool. It's really cool. Yeah. So here's Ready? the back of the box. Yeah. Uh, you open it. You break it, you buy it. Uh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> He's a pro though, so he doesn't have to worry about breaking it. We already took the plaster half off, as you can see. All right, ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. I'm ready, man. Let's duel the face. Oh, nice. I'll, no, I'm, I'm not ship. doing it. Am I you doing the ship? ship? Yeah, right, I'll ship. do the ship. All right. All right. So, so I mean, so. just like every other X-Wing package that size, it comes in a little bag. It has the punch outs, cards. And we will go through all those in a minute. Some rules. Rules. And, uh, thing for a thing. Nope, nothing else in there. Hmm. A little peg for the dial. So let's take, a, yeah, let's take, take the, the ship out of the box I wanna here. See, I want to see the wings move. You want to see the wings? I do too, actually. That's a very good point. These things are tricky. Don't break it. You're not going to break it, I promise. Unless you do break it, in which case you're a bad person. Ugh. You're like, oh, you're good. There you there go. We you got to push the button. Okay, so first off, there we go. Cool looking ship, right? Good paint job on it, yeah. Good paint job. And these are supposed to move. Oh. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, now that's cool. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, very, that's cool. very cool. And it, yeah, there's the underside. Again, awesome paint job on it. Yeah. Um, FFG's painters just keep getting better and better, man. So they actually have some really cool weathering. Yeah, I saw I that like too. That. If you see the top too, like, that blue part yeah. right there. It's chip paint, man. Yeah, man. That's really cool. You gotta cool. pay extra for that. Huh. But yeah, it's got the different color panels. I really like the line work. Very clean on this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And then again, those move. Depending on is which it like, mode. Is it like... Okay, so there's some resistance so yeah. they don't like fall around. Yeah, they're not okay. loose. I mean, I guess right. over time, if you really just put some WD-40 right. in there or something, you could... But like, they're not loose. So yeah, they can, yeah. You, okay, that's, it won't move. That's good. So, it stays. It's pretty cool. Good, Very cool. cool. Well done. All right. All, all right, you want to take some cards? Let's take some cards out here. Why don't we pause real quick? We'll lay them all out, and that way we'll save ourselves some time. Okay, so here are all of the cards. Yes. We're gonna start with the pilots and we're, we're gonna work, work down. way down. Okay, yeah. sounds good. Um, so real quick, yeah, the U-Wing's got a base ship. Here's the uh, the blue squadron pathfinder. Right. It's got a three dice primary, which is pretty solid. That's very good, yeah. Yeah, uh, it is a, a large base ship, so that's good. Um, it's one, one evade, so nothing too crazy there, but it does come with four hull and four shields. Yes. It's pretty nice. Two uh, pilot skill for the- Yeah, right this guy's just yeah. a two. The action bars you see is a focus and a target lock, so it's not doing anything fancy as far as like right. barrel rolls or boosting or anything. In fact, you look at all of them, they're all just focus yeah. and target locks. The difference is we've got, uh, as far as upgrade bars, we're gonna start seeing the uh, elite pilot talents over here on this end. So these guys don't have an EPT to, uh, to play with, but okay. you've still got sensors, you've got torpedoes, and you've got two passenger shot uh, slots, which is a big deal. Right, well, because it is a carrier ship. Yeah. Yeah, so it makes sense. And you've seen the movie. You don't have yes. to spoil or anything, I will but not. it is a transport more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They transport people. Now. Yeah, it's more of a troop transport than yes, a exactly. straight fighter. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense. Now, the cool part about that is with two passengers, you can do some pretty crazy combos. Oh, yeah, uh, definitely. I'm not, we're not going to cover those. And it, it comes with some cool yeah, passengers. Yeah, you have well. a ton of cool yeah. passengers. Yeah. But you can really get creative with the, with the combos. As, as a, a Rebel player, I, I do play Rebels majority right. of the time. Uh, there are some very cool uh, passenger combos. 
that you can do that I'm, I'm fairly excited about, but we'll get to that. So the, 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 the base pilot, just a two, he doesn't really do anything fancy. Uh, Heftober is actually a card we haven't seen yet. Okay. Which is pretty neat. His ability is special. Uh, after an enemy ship execute, uh, executes a maneuver that causes it to overlap with your ship, you may perform a free action. That's really good. Yeah. So we're going to try blocking with, yeah, with the Yeah, this U -wing. Okay. the U wing, this particular U wing is a really great blocker. So you want to get in their face, get in the way, uh, then they. If they bump you, you then get to perform a free Which action. Which is great because he has a fairly low pilot score, so he gets to move first anyway. Right. Yeah. Which makes him a fantastic blocker. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So that that way you can get it, get in the face of those right. imperial aces or whatever, and really mess with them. Um, and then because you got the uh, uh, perform action, you can do stuff to get out of the way, or you can target lock them, or you can get you know maybe an engine upgrade and boost or whatever you want to do. Yeah. <laughs> There's lots of options there. Um, this, the next pilot up here is a pilot skill for uh, Bodhi Rook. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that name, oh, but cool. I'm pretty sure it's straight up. Uh, he's got a cool ability, and I think this is one of my favorite abilities out of this set. Mm -hmm. When a friendly ship acquires a target lock, that ship can lock onto an enemy ship at range one to three of a friendly ship. Wow, that's really cool. Now, just throwing this out here, if you took like an A-wing right. at the start of the game and just flew them way yeah. out there, uh, went ahead. Went ahead. But fast, so they can yeah, do that. Yeah, super fast going, you know, speed five all right. the way up the board. Uh, if that A-wing gets within range one to three of an enemy ship, mm -hmm. everybody else in your list can then target lock that ship. That's great. That's which fantastic. is nuts. Yeah. Because you're getting a target lock probably a turn, maybe turn and a half early. Yeah. That's which really opens good. you up for the next turn to do some of that stuff. So it's really cool if you want to do um, like a, uh, not a bomber list, but like a like a gunboat list or proton torpedo heavy list or something yeah. where you're, you need those target locks. Pairs up nicely with a couple of ARC-170 uh, pilots, I think, where you can share target locks. Right, okay. So it's, yeah. you can do a lot That's of really, really cool, yeah. really cool stuff. Some good with combination. yeah. yeah combinations. Uh, really great support ship. Again, with the two pilots, or the two passenger slots here. Just yeah. Lots of possibilities there. Uh, you saw the movie, how do you say this guy's name? Because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna bust Cassian it. Andor. Cassian Andor, mm -hmm. right. His ability is at the start of the activation phase, you may remove one stress token from one other friendly ship at range one to two. That's good. So it's just a nice way to ditch some stress. Yeah. Uh, stress bot lists are pretty popular in the meta mm -hmm. and worldwide. Just dealing with stress uh, can be an issue. So any way to remove one extra stress will be pretty pretty handy. And he's he's actually got some cool stuff again. He's got the access to the elite pilot talent too. So okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. So he's pretty tricksy. Uh, yeah, I could see some different uses for him. So. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, we got a couple of new cards here too. If you want to read expertise for us. Expertise, when attacking, if you are not stressed, you may change all of your focus results to a hit result. Which is pretty pretty saucy. Pretty it does cost four points. Yeah. A little pricey. Yeah, but I mean like it's worth it if you think about it. Like it's yeah. it's a really good card. I think com uh, combine that with a target lock, so mm -hmm. any of your hits, crits or hits, crits, or focuses become damage. Yeah. Which is really nice. As long as you're not rolling blanks, expertise is gonna pay for itself. Uh, Sensor Jammer we've seen before, so we'll skip that one. Jin, she's a new card. Jin yes. Urso. Uh, you, she's got a cool ability. Choose one friendly ship at range one, one to two. Assign one focus to that ship. Mm -hmm. One focus token to that ship for each enemy ship inside your firing arc at range one to three. You can't assign more than three tokens in this way. <clears throat> she is a focus factory. Oh yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, it's just really cool. And you get to give those to other ships too. You right. Know, you gotta remember though, you, you are friendly to yourself and you are within range one to two of yourself. Yes. So if she's on the ship, she can do it or she can toss them out to somebody else. That's really which cool. Which is pretty yeah. handy. Wanna check out base wars there? Yeah, right, okay. So after you perform an attack that does not hit, you may immediately perform a primary weapon attack against a different ship. You cannot perform another attack this round. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, just the extra shot. It's like, uh, I know there's another card that lets you do that, but this is against a different ship. Right. It's a slightly different setup, but it can be super handy if you're firing at, say, I don't know, a, a Imperial Ace and you yeah. whiff, but you have like a shuttle in range. And you're like, oh, I'm gonna shoot you. Oh, I whiff. Well, now I'm gonna shoot the shuttle. That's great, yeah. So you can just kind of change your fire, so. And then, how do you say this guy's name? I don't actually know. I think it's Biston. Biston? Biston. We're going to go with that. Biston. Biston. Maybe he's French. Maybe. Biston. I oh, was pretty French looking. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. <laughs> ho. He's an alien. I don't know. <laughs> uh, this is a rebel only. These are all rebel only, by the way. Yeah. Uh, when attacking at range one to two, you may change one of your hits results to a crit result. Great. So that's just a nice way that obviously you can combo really, yeah, really well. Yeah, definitely. Expertise. Uh, that's a pretty obvious combo. There's other things in there. Um, 
If you put him on a ship with uh, torpedoes or missiles and guidance chips, guidance mm -hmm. chips gives you a free hit or crit depending on your primary yeah. damage. So that could get you some extra free crits. So totally. just throwing that out there. Uh, again, Buddy Rook as a passenger instead of a pilot. Uh, same ability basically, except it's only on that ship. So when you acquire, acquire a target lock, you can lock onto an enemy ship at range one or three of any friendly ship. And this is, again, if he's riding shotgun, he gives that ship that ability. It's right. not, a, not a universal one like this one. It's pretty great. And then we have uh, Andor again. This is a neat ability and he works great with blocker ships. So it's kind of complicated, so let me read it real quick. At the end of the planning phase, that's when you put down your dials. Right. Uh, you can, may choose an enemy ship at range one or two. Guess aloud that ship's bearing and speed, then look at its dial. If you are correct, you may ro rotate your dial to another maneuver. So. So like a little mini game within the a game. A little mini game. Yeah. The, the cool part about it is, mm -hmm. whether or not you're right or wrong about the speed and, and you heading, get to see the dial. you still get to look at their dial. Which is cool. Exactly. Yeah. If you throw him in another blocker type ship, yes. if you want, or maybe you're going for an arc dodger and you yeah. just want to make sure you get away, you look at their dial, no matter what, and then if you have tricksy stuff like boosts or barrel rolls or stuff to get you extra movement, you can then get out of that ship's way. That's very cool. So either way, you're going to see the dial. There's another, there's a couple of other combos I've written about before where you can uh, pair him up with other passengers to take advantage of getting to look at somebody's dial. So, right. But we're not going to get all that. <laughs> you want to read up the new uh, Inspiring Recruit Force? Inspiring, and you can see here the troop transport in the U. Uh, yeah. The U uh, once per round, when a friendly ship at range one through two removes a stress token, it may remove one additional stress token. So that's good. That's nice. If yeah. you combo that up with Candor, or, yeah. uh, sorry, Candor. Oh wow. I'm gonna Cassian call Andor. I know, but Candor. Candor, because he can't do things. Which is the ship from uh, Supergirl. Anyway, <laughs> inspire a group with Andor here. You can make them remove a stress token, and then again, they can remove another one. Right. So. It's just a cool way to do that. We've seen uh, stealth device before. Mm -hmm. Increase your agility value by one if you are hit. Uh, by an attack, discard this card. Yeah, so. so it's just an agility boost, but yeah. again, yeah, like I said, we've seen that before. Mm -hmm. This is the, the new title card. Okay. And this is something cool because this is a pivot wing uh, in attack mode. So this is increase your agility value by one. Right, and so that's a good reason. Where's the ship? The ship is right here. So in attack mode, it's yep. like this. Which is so, great. Yeah, so then you know it's in attack yeah, mode. So it's a good reason. And then, well, if you want to read it out. Oh, yeah. After you execute uh, a maneuver, you may flip this card. What happens when you flip the card? Oh, it's man. normally just, oh, look at that. It's in landing mode. Oh. Oh. When you reveal uh, a the zero, the halt maneuver, I don't want to stop. Right. <laughs> you may rotate your ship 180 degrees. That's, yeah, facing the other way. After you execute a maneuver, you may flip this card. Back into... Attack mode. So you can you can just set it and leave it, or you can flip it after right. you, anytime you complete a maneuver. So that's really cool. Yeah. And then flechette torpedoes. We've seen those before too. So uh, nothing nothing crazy there. Right. But this is a neat ship yes. uh, for the rebels with four hull, four shields. It's going to be able to take some hits. Uh, it's got a three attack primary, which is nothing to scoff at. Right. It's got some neat tricks with a double passenger slot. Um, we're gonna take a look at the punch out cards and we'll take a look at the dial next. So let's do that. All right, so here are all the uh, punch outs. Right. You can see you get plenty of focus, all the shields and stuff. Shields, yeah. yeah. You get more shields over here. The important thing though is I wanted to take a look at the dial. So here's the dial. Uh, you can see it's got a, a red zero, which is just a full stop. Stop, right. Uh, it's got some decent one maneuvers with a, with banks and a straight, and they're all green, naturally. Mm -hmm. uh, the twos are nice. It's got all of the twos, except uh, it doesn't have any, like, Sanguine Wars loops or anything. Right. But it's got all the turns, uh, the white uh, hard turns, and then the green twos, which is good. Mm -hmm. uh, threes is going to go back to the banks. Right. So banks, straight, bank. And then one four straight ahead, which is, means it's, it's fairly quick, fairly, considering... Yeah. Considering the fact that it's on a large base ship, right? Um, when it goes four, it's going a pretty far distance. I noticed it doesn't have any turnarounds, but I guess if you have the title card, that makes sense, right? Because uh, when you go into the landing mode, you can turn 180 degrees yep. if you do the stop maneuver. So exactly, that's, exactly. That's very cool. Okay. So anytime you reveal that red, if you're on the landing mode, right, you do 180. So no K turns, like you said, but you can still get you know get flipped around, and of course all the different bases and stuff like that. So. But yeah, it's a pretty neat little ship. Um, 
that's pretty much it for the uh, the U-wing. The U-wing. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this one. I think it's yeah. gonna do some damage in the meta for sure. And I mean, nothing else. I could just sit at the table and play with the wings. Totally. So. I would do this all day. Yep. Just sit there. Oh, you are you shooting my ship? Oh, I'm just playing with the wing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that's it for uh, this one. Let's hop out for a really quick recap. So that was the U-wing for Star Wars X-wing. Really cool ship. I yes. like the wings that they yep. actually move now. Pretty yeah. cool stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the price point of this one? Twenty nine ninety five, which is about the same for every. Yeah, for the large base ships. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it makes total sense. Yeah. Uh, it's got some great cards in there. I oh, yeah. really think Rebels are going to get some new toys totally. to play with here. I'm jealous for the Rebel player. Yeah. <laughs> you should be. <laughs> uh, but then again, you saw the other cards in there. There's some really cool combos yes. you, can, you can pull off. Yeah. Uh, I, I just think it's. It's not going to be a super big game changer, but I definitely think it's going to make an yeah. impact. And if anything, it's a cool model. Totally. And, uh, go see the movie. It just keeps getting better. <laughs> He's already seen it again. Oh, I'm, I'm going to see it again tonight. So we're... I'm going to go see it. Uh, so hopefully by the time this video is out there. Yes. Anyway, I'm Adam Harry from Bell Hustles. I'm Adam from Dragon's Air Comics Fancy. This has been another Tabletop Spotlight. Thanks again for watching. Tabletop Spotlight brought to you by Dragon's Air Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching.